All right, so real quick before we get into the video, we're gonna do a shameless plug. If you guys are interested in the Made Stark weightlifting belts, then they are linked in my bio, first link in the description. So if you guys are interested, then yeah, go click that link. And also, I've had a lot of people who have bought them so far, so I'm really excited for you guys to get the belts. Let me know how you guys like them when you get the belts. Now let's get into it. All right guys, so I just walked outside right now, right? It's like 65, 70 degrees, and it feels like absolute heaven comment down below if you guys live in a place that is cold for most of the year and then becomes really hot in the summertime it, it's just the best feeling ever when it becomes summer again and right now we are rocking the green ripped hole shirt right here we got a black watch on we got the rip knee jeans classic just rip on both knees got the yeezys on got to be stunting on them, you know what i'm saying but anyways guys we are about to go to the car dealership right now because these two lights right here, right? Okay, so boom, you guys can see two lights, right? They can light up about 97 of your streets. Like the street that you live on at home, put them 97 in a row, it can light that many up. There's like 5,000 lumens in each light. So basically they're extremely bright. Now that's pretty much the only reason I bought this truck, guys. I mean, I got a pretty nice truck right here, right? We got the Chevy Colorado 2016. You guys have seen it, whatever. But this truck, has the coolest lights I've ever seen. Basically, two or three days into me owning this truck, the lights stopped working, so I've been too lazy since then to actually go um, make an appointment to get them fixed, so that's what I did. I made an appointment. We're gonna go get these lights fixed, and then I'm gonna go pick some food up, because I have not eaten today, and it's like two o'clock, and I think we're gonna be training chess with Dave later, so it's gonna be brutal. Gotta get some food in me. Hi, right, can I please get the Dave's Double uh, medium meal with a medium fry and medium strawberry lemonade? Okay. Oh yeah, that'll be it. Okay. Alright, thank you. 10 ounces of water right here, pre-workout right here. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so I'm about to make myself up a little pre-workout drink. I'm gonna do one scoop of this Loco pre-workout right here. Right, so this pre-workout is dope. It says everything that it has in here um, on the label. So it's got basically 300 milligrams of caffeine. So a good amount of stims, but not too much. We're gonna take one rounded scoop right here. Boom, pop it in that water. Now today, guys, we are gonna be hitting a 675, or hold, hold, or hold on, sorry, I mean a 680 deadlift. Now, as a lot of you guys know, one of my good friends by the name of David Lade has hit a 675 pound sumo deadlift. Now, he did that deadlift a few months ago, um, so to date, his current deadlift max is 675. I'm going to go in the gym today, I'm going to attempt a 680 pound deadlift just to start some friendly competition and pull more than him so then he's motivated to go out there and try to pull 700. And then when he does that guys, I probably won't have, SHUT UP STRIKER! I probably won't have any answer for it because I'll be deep into my cut. But for now guys, we're going to try to best him. I'm going to put Dave's deadlift right up here. As you saw, it was pretty easy, so I'm going to try to get the 680 today, guys, which will be a sumo PR for me, lifetime PR. My best sumo deadlift ever is 655 pounds, and my best conventional is 600, which I did a few weeks ago. I'm significantly stronger sumo, so even though I don't train it, I think I will jump right back onto it. My hips will feel great, and I'll be able to pull it, so we're going to find out today in the gym, and yeah, let's go, head over, let's go drink this pre-workout, and then head over to the gym. You're not getting any pre-workout. Why not? Because you're too small. Bad habits To know what you want No, you'll never truly have it Alright guys, 
So today, as you can see from the total of this video, we're going for a 680 pound deadlift. I'm hoping I get it right. So I haven't pulled sumo since I hit 655 last time, which was in this exact spot in the Smurf outfit. Put the deadlift up right now. I only do sumo deadlifts to come in at max because it fucks my hips up if I do it on a consistent basis. So yeah, pretty much just gonna try and max today, guys. Gonna try to beat Dave, get a little friendly competition going, get him motivated to try to hit like 700 or something like that, like I said. Feels really, really good right now, but it just feels really fluid, really clean. Um, I'm thinking, thinking 680 might go up today, guys. We're gonna have to find out as the weight goes up. I'm also gonna be using, one moment, the new belt today, guys. We're gonna use it, we're gonna, we're gonna PR approve this belt today. Workout is hitting me hard as a fucking brick right now, so I don't really want to talk too much to the camera. Like I'm just in my headphones trying to get in the zone, but everything felt like my face right there just showed you guys how that 405 felt. So literally that 405 felt like one plate. The Texas deadlift bar, some straps, and some pre-workout guys can do some wonders for you. I'm telling you. But yeah, we're gonna jump on a five place right now. Hopefully it continues to feel this light and I can kill the 680, maybe even hit 700. If you're interested in lifting the heaviest weight possible on the deadlift and getting as strong as humanly possible, then I would recommend you guys try to incorporate some sumo or switch to sumo because conventional, while you're probably gonna make more muscular gains, more hypertrophy gains, you're not going to be as strong. 99% of people are going to be strong on the sumo. Now, some people are not. Some people have better leverages for conventional. It's the same thing with high bar versus low bar squat. But I guarantee you, if you guys try this out for a few months, get the form down, make sure you guys have good limber hips, you will deadlift some heavy ass weight sooner. You'd surprise yourself.